perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he, st he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the hoos. Staring down from the cave with a sour grinchy frown at the warm lighted window below in their town for he knew every who down in Whoville he meets was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. <coughs> and Laura English stockings. He saw it with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. And he grabbed with his bunch fingers and nervously gummy. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew, all the new girls and boys would wake bright and early. They rush for their toys and then... Oh, the noise! Oh, the noise! Noise, noise, noise! That's one thing he hated, the noise. Noise. Noise! Noise! Then the who's young and old would sit down to a feast, and they feast, and they feast, and they feast, feast, feast. Feast! Who would feast on? Who would eat and where? Who would first feast? Which was a, which was something the Grinch could not stand in the least. And then they were something he liked least. Every who down in Hoonville, the small and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells from them. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. They'd sing. They sing. They'd sing. And they sing! 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 <laughs> and the more the Grinch thought of this who Christmas sing. And the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Well, for 53 years, I put up with it. Now I must stop this from, from coming. But how? Uh, then the Grinch, then he got an idea. An awful idea. <laughs> The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea! I just know what to do! The Grinch laughed in his throat. And made a quick quick Sandy Claus hat and coat. He chuckled and clucked. With this Grinchy trick, with this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeer were, are scarce, there was no to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No! The Grinch if I can't find a ranger, I'll have to make one instead. So he called his dog Max. And then he, and then he took some red bread and tied it a big bone on the top of his head. And then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sled. And he hitched up on Max. Then the Grinch said, "Giddy up!" And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet, snow filled the air. And all the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house in the square. This is stop number one! <coughs> he looked he climbed and he climbed it to the roof and he bags with his fists. Then he slid down the chimney chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa, if Santa could do it, and so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once or, or a moment for two. Then he hung his, then he stuck his head out of the fireplace where, where, where the little who stopped the wall hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first thing to go. <coughs> and then he slithered and slunk. With a smile, most unpleasant. Around the whole room, he took every present. Pop guns, some bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he swung to the icebox. And he took he took the hoop piece. He took the hoop pudding. He took the hidden rust piece. He cleaned out the ice box and took out the black. Where the Grinch even took their last can of poo hat. Then he stuck 
And no! And the Grinch. I'll stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like the pull of a dough, he turned around fast and he saw a small who. Lucy Lou who. He was not more than two. The Grinch should be caught by this tiny <coughs> two daughter who has gotten out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought of a lie. He thought it up quick. One more sweet little thought. The big Santa Claus cried. There's a light on this tree and that won't light on one side. So I'll take <coughs> you home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. I'll bring it back here. And his then I'll bring it back here. And his fifth pulled the child. Then he patted her on the head and got her drinking sit on the bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, that old liar. From the walls he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And the <coughs> one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other two houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other two houses. It was a quarter past dawn. All the who's still a bed. All the who's still a snooze. When he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents. The ribbons. The wrappings. The tags. <coughs> Three thousand feet up. Up the side of Mount Crumpet. He rode with his load to the tip's hot to dump it. Come on, to lose. He was gradually coming. <coughs> I'm pointing out now that no Christmas <coughs> is coming. But just waking up, I know just what they'll do. The mouths will hang up in a minute or two. Then the Who's down in Whoville will all cry, Boo Hoo! That's a noise. Grand the Great. I suddenly must hear. So he paused when the Grinch put his into his ear, and he didn't hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't said. Well, this sound sounded merely. It couldn't be so, but it was merely. Very! He stared down at Whoville. The grin popped his eyes, then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it just came the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, but puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. <coughs> it came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And the, the puzzle three hurt. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzle was four. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas. He thought. Those don't come from a store. Maybe Christmas will help things a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch small heart grew three times that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel so, feel quite so tight, he was with his little through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys. And the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the rest of the feast. 